So we are excited to introduce Mujib Rahman as one of the World Camp Kerala speakers. Mujib has 10 years of experience in the software development industry. He is currently working as a software developer in Mozilla Technology Private Limited. It has, it has several WordPress plugins that are well out in the community. So now I call upon him to present a lightning talk on the topic WordPress data privacy. Hi all, I am Mujib Rahman, working in WordPress ecosystem for a decade, currently working as senior developer and product owner at, at Mozilla Technologies. Today I am here to share my thoughts and views on data privacy in WordPress. So let me begin with the obvious first, what is privacy? Well, let me put it this way. We all engage in different activities in our life, sometimes alone, sometimes with the friends, or with any random person. We will enjoy the moment with the peace of mind that no one is there to disturb our time. The state of mind in which we believe we are not observed by anyone in the moment we don't want to be can simply say as privacy. Now to the point. Privacy in WordPress. The growth of the internet has fundamentally changed the way we interact with each other and access information. From social media to e-commerce, internet, internet has created new opportunity for communication, interactions and transactions. However, it has also created new shades of risk on our privacy, as our personal information are now more accessible than ever before. It has raised concern among users that they're about their user privacy. At the same time, people are becoming more aware about their right to privacy and taking proactive steps to reduce their digital footprints around the online space. This is a clear call to have discussions and make necessary action to protect users' data privacy. For quite some time, the open source web technology have been not only focusing on making the resources accessible for free to everyone, but also focusing on user privacy. As an open source, eco as an open source content management system that powers 40% of the website on the internet, WordPress has a key role to ensure user data privacy. Many WordPress website collects and store user data in the form of contact form, user registration, online purchases, etc. It's the responsibility of the website owner to obtain a prior consent before collecting and storing the user data. Also, the site owner should make sure that the collected data is stored and secure. That means adding a privacy policy page or cookie consent notice won't be enough on your part. Privacy laws has become more stringent and even a slight negligence can cost you millions of euros. I hope you know why I mentioned millions of euros and not millions of dollars. If not, let me introduce you the GDPR. The General Data Protection Regulation introduced by the European Union and effective on May 2018 and changed the course of discussion around consumer privacy. Ever since the GDPR, sorry, ever since the European Union has introduced the GDPR, it has been a nightmare for the big corporates like Facebook, Amazon, Google. You might have heard that millions of euros of fines were issued to these corporates for violating the GDPR guidelines. So you may be thinking that it will affect only the big corporates. Well, that's not the case. Even if you are not residing on European countries, if you have business or have clients in European Union region, it's mandatory for you to comply with the GDPR. GDPR has heightened the sense of privacy over the internet around the world and many governments have introduced their own version of regulation 
like CCP of California, CNIL of France, LGBT of Brazil, and last week, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has introduced their regulation, PDPL. Having said, this shouldn't be the reason only we should restrict the, we should consider the user privacy, but it's our responsibility to keep the users trust that their data is protected on our end. Over the few years, WordPress have made several changes to its core for in regards to the privacy compliance. Let's have a look at the, some of the privacy focused measures that WordPress have taken. Restricting Gravadars. As you all know, Gravadar is a third party service that allows users to upload a profile picture and use it on multiple WordPress websites across the web. It has potential risks to expose user activity and identity on the internet. WordPress now allows the administrator to disable or block the usage of Gravadar. Actually, Gravadar is uh, used as hashed format of the email ID. Hash format is subjected to brute force attack. Next, delete or export personal data. That's part of the privacy law. Like user should have more access and control about their data stored and used. Now, WordPress admin, uh, allows the admin to delete or export the personal data that is stored on the website. This can be done on the request of the user. Comply with the GDPR. WordPress 4.9.6 and higher versions. WordPress has introduced several GDPR related enhancement like privacy policy templates, then opt-in option for comments, a privacy policy editing helper. These all uh, GDPR related uh, uh, enhancement recently introduced in WordPress. As WordPress developers, what we can do? Privacy first, personalization comes later. We all want to provide a better user experience for our users so that we need to provide uh, more options for customization and personalization. For providing that, we may need to collect more user data. Uh, it increases the it increases the sense of security as well. Whenever there is a decision to be made between user privacy and personalization, it's recommended to prioritize user privacy over personalization. User, user matter means whenever we develop a plugin or release a new update for a plugin with more features, we should not only consider our users, but as well as their users they might be residing in any countries where with strict privacy laws. Privacy by design. Usually, privacy is applied retrospectively, means toward the end. In privacy by design, the uh, privacy is applied from the early stage itself, means on design stage itself through development and to the deployment. That will help the developers to uh, uh, have a clearer picture on the what data need to be collected. What website admins can do? Minimize personal data means collect only necessary data that we need to function. Ensure data accuracy. Make sure the data collected is uh, true and up to date. Limit the purpose. Use the data collected only for what intention it's collected for. Limit data retention. Do not uh, store data more than it is needed or do not share with any other. Uh, secure user data. Make sure that you have taken necessary measures to secure the data from unauthorized access, show privacy policy and cookie notices, mm. display, uh, sorry, being transparent about uh, the data you are collected and uh, explain it in your privacy and policy page and cookie notice, obtain prior consent before collecting any user data, grant user right, uh, give the user the access to uh, uh, control and delete their data, uh, be accountable be responsible for their data and if there is any security breach inform the users handle sensitive information carefully <coughs> provide a more additional safety layer for uh, sensitive information like uh, financial transaction card information etc and legal complaints uh, keep up to date with the privacy laws and uh, it's recommended that this safeguarding of privacy is not a one-time task before installing a plugin or adding a theme to WordPress, an admin should be aware of the following. What WordPress core privacy tool does the plugin use or not use? 
what data it collects and how it is used what are the effects of the plugin or theme on your website uh, on conclusion privacy in wordpress is a community effort developers should be aware of the wordpress core changes plugins and themes should keep up with the latest security standards and regulations thank you Uh, thank you, Muchi, for a quick overview on data privacy in WordPress. So now I call upon Sweda to hand over a token of love.